Alright, welcome back to No Filter MMA. This is your boy BJ back with another video short. Guys, we found Maria Agapova. We found Maria Agapova, the lost flyweight. <laughs> Guys, I've been wondering, I had, you know, thanks, shout out to my boy Combo Breaking 99 for breaking this to me. He said, you know, well, she's scheduled to fight Sabina Mazo. I'm like, okay, good. I'm happy to see Sabina Mazo dropping back down to 125 pounds. That's where Sabina Mazo belongs. You know, she is one of the bigger flyweights, but that is where she belongs. But so is Maria Agapova. You know, and now as far as stylistic wise in this breakdown, you know, I think it's a very, um, I think it's a good matchup. And, you know, I felt like Maria Agapova was supposed to be like the Manon Fiota. Like she was supposed to be that big splash that Manone made, you know what I'm saying, but as we saw with Maria Agapova, as soon as she stepped up and fought a real flyweight, she got pummeled, so, you know, and it was Shayna Dobson of all people, so that's kind of crazy, so I see Maria Agapova as one of those reckless fighters who just goes out, just guns blazing, and just blows her load, you know what I'm saying, and she totally blew that load on the fight with, um, with Shayna Dobson, and she had nothing left for Shayna after the fight was over. Like, there was nothing left that she could give Shayna Dobson when that fight was over. You know, when that fight, when that, as that fight continued, you know. And the thing about Sabina Mazo, Sabina may not be the fastest striker out there, you know what I'm saying? But when Sabina Mazo lands, she lands with power and she lands with intention. And that's from her kicks to her punches to everything that Sabina Mazo does. It's got a lot of intention behind it. Maria Agapova does come out fast, though, you know what I'm saying? She comes out fast, and she comes out hard, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, she comes out fast and hard and tends to fade versus Sabina Mazo starts kind of slow and builds and goes as the fight goes on. Like, you know, those shots start to wear on you, you know what I'm saying? Those punches start to hurt after a while, you know, sitting there taking punches from Sabina Mazo. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I feel like Maria Agapova, she could land something big on Mazo starting off. You know what I'm saying? Like, as the fight first start, first round, you know what I'm saying? She could land something big on Mazo. And I feel like Mazo is just, I feel like her reactions are just like, like, I feel like everything about Mazo is slow, but Mazo will pick up the pace as the fight goes on. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Mazo does pick up the pace as the fight goes on, and she does start to crack. And if Maria Agapova gasses, you know what I'm saying? Like, if she gasses in this fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, second round, and Sabina Mazo still in there throwing strikes and knees. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can start to wear down Maria Agapova. That's if that's if she doesn't get Sabina Mazo out of there in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about Sabina Mazo that's super dangerous is her knees. Like, Sabina Mazo got the most dangerous knees in that division, man. Like, she throws them knees up. She throws them knees up high. Like, she got these long tree trunk ass legs and Sabina Mazo swings the fuck out of those legs you know what I'm saying those knees come straight up the middle and right to the chin I seen Sabina Mazo land knees to the chin of people standing straight up you know what I'm saying and that's crazy man that Sabina Mazo can do that but very technical striker in Sabina Mazo you know what I'm saying I think, I think Mazo has the better hands than Maria Agapova. I feel like her composure is better than Maria Agapova. I feel like her fight IQ is decades past. I mean, exponentially better than, than Maria Agapova. But Maria has that danger factor, you know what I'm saying? Like, if she starts landing on you, she can hurt you, and she's fast, and she's accurate with it. She's a little wild, she's a little reckless, but she's fast, and she's accurate. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, you know, Sabina Mazo coming off that loss to Alexis Davis at 135 pounds, and then Maria Agapova, you know what I'm saying, coming off that loss to Shanna Dobson. We haven't seen her since that Shanna Dobson fight. Shanna Dobson and lost and out of the UFC since then. You know what I'm saying? And Maria Agapova still ain't fought yet. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Sabina Mazo's got some pretty credible wins. You know what I'm saying? She beat J.J. Aldridge. You know what I'm saying? Like, she has some pretty credible wins. She also has wins over, like, Justin Kish. And her very first fight, she beat Alejandra Lara. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I feel like maybe Mar that... Let me... Well, let's, let's talk about Maria Agapova's record. I mean, her most credible win being Hannah Cyphers. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, if you go back, you know, she lost to Tracy Cortez on the Contender Series. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she's got some wins at Invicta. But, you know, as far as, like, strength of, you know, who they fought, the better resume goes to um, Sabina Mazo. You know, she's been in there with Alexis Davis. She's been in there with Justin Kiss. She's been in there with J.J. Aldridge. You know what I'm saying? She's been in there. She lost to um, Marina Moroz. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. But I do feel like if I have to give somebody the edge in this fight, I'm going to give it to Sabina Mazo just for her consistency. I think her pace and her consistency will wear on you. It's not the fastest pace, but it's the more accurate play, pace, and it's the more efficient pace. Like, Sabina Mazda was a big girl, and she knows it. So she ain't going out here swinging wild and, you know, and tired by the end of the second round. Sabina Mazo is very calculated in what she does, and I think she can take full advantage of that on Maria Agapova. So we'll see. You never know. This could be a dub for Agapova. I'm, it's 50-50 it's in this fight for me. You know, if it gets past the first round, Sabina Mazo. If it's a firefight in the first round, I'm going to I'm going to favor Maria Agapova. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about Justin, Ke uh, excuse me, Maria Agapova versus Sabina Mazo coming up in the women's flyweight division. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like, hit that dislike. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button and your boy is out.